Now in this part of our lesson on pads, we're gonna deal with pads and dealing with our Q-Link. So Q-Link is right here, as you can see here, and I've opened up this little info thing. I close this out, we have nothing. They collide back together. Of course, pads are right here. Pad, or right here rather. Boom, that's pad perform. If I'm not using it, I'll close it out, and I have pads here and I have Q-Link here. I'll come to here and I'll press the I, and now I'm looking at pad scene, and look at the information for any pad, and Q-Link 1 has been touched here. You can see it's a little grayed out, a little brighter than the rest of the other knobs here. And we have pad scene, and we also have pad parameter here. Now, we're going to go over pad scene first. Here's pad scene. I got a pad. A pad right here. And I can play it back. And this is pad number one. Right? I got these pads here. What I want to do is come to here like this. Hit the pads. Notice too, if I go to here and press erase, and I click on these pads, you don't hear them. So if you don't hear them, make sure to go back to erase and get them on. It'll really <laughs> screw you up if you do that and you don't know what's going on. You're like, where's my pads at? So be aware of that. Now next, what I'm going to look at here is this pad parameter. That's the parameter just for the volume. Here's a parameter for left or right. Let's play this actually. Let's go to here. Let's solo this track out. There's a right. There's left. You'll see here it's soloed, right? So I come back, I'm solo again. Back, no solo, solo. I can mute it, or on or off. It's muted now, and it's back on. So what you're seeing here is that this one pad has 16 different parameters that we can actually attenuate or change. So right here you can see I can send this sound to send one. Send one, watch this. I'm gonna come here and send it to one. Now, I want to listen back to this. Now, I don't hear anything happening, right? So watch this. We're going to go to our mixer. Boom. I'll put my mixer up. My mixer's over here, obviously, right? So I also have, you can see down here, pads in the mixer. Now, when you get your mixer here, you can see my setup is right here, which is show pad mixer and have here, show pads, that doesn't show, click here, you'll see the pads at the bottom. Now the pads there at the bottom is kind of cool, I can tell what's going on. Now, but I can't see where the sends are, here, here we go. My send is right here, but I can't see my send. So what I want to do next is I want to go to here, and I want to see show pad and channel mixers. I come to here, now, as I hit this pad, it's going to ascend. And so what I want to do here is make sure it's working. So I come to here, I've got my send set up, there's returns, there's a subgroup there, there's order tracks, there's me tracks right here. And here it is right here, a send is right here. And I want to send it somewhere that's going to be within the system. So we have returns, we have send. So this is return one. I'll hit the pad. And now you see it right here. Levels up, now we see that right there, right? I can come to here also, pull this up a little bit. Oh, we have a resampler here. Let's take this off of here. Let's get something we can hear clearly so we can know something's happening. I'm going to go to, let's go to a delay. That's always funky. Get a delay up here. Let's get a cheap delay. A analog sync joint. Pop this in here. Please go there. There it is, right? Analog sync, and I'll hit the pad right here. Oops. So I'll play it. Here's my timing. Top it. So you can see I'm sending a send here, it's going there. Pretty simple stuff. Let's close this out. Let's get rid of this for one, two, and go back to none. It's getting complicated, right? So we're gonna go back here to our main window. So we can send a sound anywhere. We can send three. No, four different places, right? This is kind of cool. Turn this off. I'm not using that right now. 
We also have filter, like when the filter, which is inside the program, we have filter resonance, we have filter envelope depth, we have tuning, I can tune the drum. To my drum there, we have envelope sustain, we have amp envelope decay, and we have amp envelope attack and amp envelope release. So this is all just on one pad. I go to this pad, I got the same kind of parameters, and you can see here it says source is A02, pad two. And tuning has been selected right here. I come to here, we know it's selected right here, right there, we can see it's level right now. And that's how we use pad scene. Now the other parameter we have here is known as pad parameter. And this is kind of cool. In this case, this is the same thing for everything. It's everything possible. So I come to here, I got drums, Try to snare them up. Bring it down here. I got hi hats. My hats are right there. Now watch. That's my hi hats, right? I go back to mix. I'll press command. My left arrow. Here it is, right here, right. You can see it raised this up totally. You see that? We got panning. See this panning here? It's going back and forth. It's automated. Let's go back to here. So we can do all kinds of stuff here, which is kind of cool. And what you see there is that I can control the levels of the mixing boards. I'll come this down again. I'll bring this down, down, let's put it down here actually. I'll go back to the mixing board and you'll see that it's been brought down to here. I'll play it again, I'll make it louder now. I'll go back to the main window and you'll see I increase its volume. So that's where this knob is taking you to, the mixing board. And I would set those parameters right here in the Q-Link setup. So for all the pads, I can say, well, I want to now do something with all the pads. I'm going to do the panning. I come into panning, and now I'll see my panning. And you'll see the one that was moving back and forth is this pad right here, right? That's going to be this pad right here that's going back and forth. And so with the pad parameter, I can change the parameter of all the pads by selecting that one parameter I want to change. In this case, it's panning. I can go back to here. There'll be a list. Panning, pad mute, pad solo, send one through four. This is kind of cool. And that's how we can use pad parameter in Q-Link.